This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. The uh, Chris Adams tag team is ultimately going to break up after uh, Steiner and Sting defeat them for the tag titles. And then Taylor is injured in a car accident. He winds up having six inches of his small intestine and four inches of his large intestine and even his appendix removed, but he's back in the ring only two months later. Uh, man, that's a tough son of a bitch right there. And I, I realize it's a different era. So if you're not working, you're not getting paid, but yeah. that's not a minor surgery. No, no. You know, I, once upon a time in my life, I had 13 inches of my large intestine removed because of diverticulitis and diverticulosis and divertic everything. So it's no, it's not a, it's not a, that was the, that was the root cause of my being the subject of the go home skit on raw where Dr. Heine pulled up my head out of my ass. And this, that, that was the same day I got out of intensive care. Uh, it was, and it was sent back home. Uh, wasn't a fun homecoming to be honest with you. So, uh, yeah, the, he, he, he dodged a big bullet there, but you know, he is a tough guy and he needed the money. The money's motivating everybody. You know, when you're not paid big guaranteed monies, you know, you, you, you figure a way to get back in the lineup quicker than not. And so Terry endured the pain and the, the discomfort. Uh, and that's where he got that. If you see any old pictures of him later on in his career in his wrestling gear, you'll see that great big scar. It's a uh, pretty prominent. So it was good to, it's good that he survived a, obviously, of course, it's, it's also good that, uh, he got another, he got another shot, got more bookings. Terry's going to regain the TV title for the last time beating Shane Douglas before ultimately the UWF is sold to Jim Crockett. Do you remember talking to Terry about what this was going to look like for his future or just these two territories coming together? I mean, he was familiar with Jim Crockett promotions and the way they ran their business and that cast of characters. And now he's going back, but it's not exactly his decision. The whole territory has been sold. Yeah. Yeah. That was, a tra- that was a, a very, uh, uh, stressful time, you know, cowboy wanted to sell and I was the bad guy that brokered the deal. And, you know, a lot of the boys had, I had heat with a lot of the boys over that for many years, uh, cause they couldn't see how, how we could do that. Well, we did it because the owner wanted to sell. He's going to sell to somebody. So what we, we wanted to try to keep these guys working and selling it to Crockett under the auspices that it was pitched was to have two, two separate brands and share time on TVS, uh, have, have, a maybe one or two pay-per-views a year, just that UWF brand. And, uh, and, and, and again, as I said, the key element was sharing time on TVS that did not flush well with the incumbents that were already at JCP, you know, when they saw they were losing TV time, uh, to the UWF boys by and large, that was, didn't go over well because they looked at, it, it's going to hurt them. It's all yep. about them. And they, it wasn't about the big picture. It didn't, they didn't stop to think about this is going to create new opponents, new matches, fresh talent. And, uh, you know, I said this on, on these interviews about the OU Texas thing. You know, uh, it's, a, uh, it's new games, it's new campuses, it's new tailgating, it's new, this and that it's new opportunities more than anything. And a lot of these guys are so, and they're already in Crockett. They were so, uh, insecure that losing a two or three minute interview slot on TVS was like, uh, the kiss of death. Right. So it was, they, those guys came in with a little bit of heat. And, uh, and that's not, that's not, that's unfortunate. I don't know that Jimmy had that opinion, but others did seem to me like, uh, and then, and some of them squirted through, got on the other side, you know, Sting had a great run in that whole world. Uh, the Steiners were, had a hell of a run, but by and large, a lot of those guys just were afterthoughts. And so guys that were previously on the cusp of being a main eventer in that territory, we're out of the picture. You're not going to be a main eventer here because I can't unbook the guys that I've been working with and building. It's just not going to happen. And that was the kiss of death of that whole, uh, sell 
and the sales of the brand. And it just, it would, you know, I've always felt like the, a great booker uses this roster head to toe. Everybody has a role. And I thought we had established that, but, uh, creative decisions changed and it, it, it screwed up a lot of guys. So it, you got, sometimes you got winners and losers in, in these transactions and, and the losers were the guys that came along with the sale and then weren't used. It, just, it didn't make any sense to me. Well, it didn't make sense to a lot of folks. Uh, Terry's going to show up. Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell. So you get a notice anytime we upload some new content and go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30 year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money. It's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at savewithconrad.com.